All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to make a background for our app drawer. And we're going to use KOWP and Tasker to accomplish this. And um, so I'm on my preset right now. And if I were to just, uh, you know, open up my app drawer, what you're going to see is you're going to see a picture fading in the background. And you may have noticed that little toast down there at the bottom as well. Let me uh, back back out of my app drawer. The picture goes away, but it says app drawer not open. Uh, and if like if I open KOWP or if I open something else, app drawer not open. So I'm having Tasker send me these toast. But if I open my app drawer, it says app drawer open and we have a picture that pops up in the background to our apps. So if I back out of here, the picture goes away. Now, um, like I said, we're using Tasker and KOWP to do this. The first part I'm going to show you is Tasker. But before we jump into that, I am using Nova Launcher. Uh, Nova Launcher, we do have to make a change in that as well. Let me go ahead and show you what I've done there. So if I go to Nova Launcher settings and we go to app and widget drawers, this may not work for your launcher. Um, I'm going to show you how to test and see if this will work as well. Just hang tight for one second. And what you want to do under your app and widget drawers, just go to background and uh, make sure you have this set to 100% transparent because if you have it set to zero like I have right now, if I back out of here and I go to my app drawer now, it's going to be completely red. Or, well, I said it was, but it's not. I guess I didn't apply that, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if I set that to, oh, I know what I did. I pressed the home button, but if I press back, that will actually apply it. And now if we go into our app drawer, notice it's a red background. So you want to make sure the background to your app drawer in Nova Launcher and maybe in whatever other launcher you may be using, make sure it's completely transparent. Um, to my knowledge, we cannot apply a picture to our background in Nova Launcher. So that's why I've resorted to this technique here. So now if we go back to our drawer, we had the picture loading. All right, so now how do we do it? Let's go into Tasker. And I'm going to start from scratch. So the first thing we want to create is a profile. And the profile that I have running this thing is this one right here, uh, variable set percent win. I'm just going to cut that off. That way it's not going to uh, show anything. So like if I come back to here, we're not going to see our picture anymore because I've disabled the profile to communicate with KOWP. Now, um, also you may notice that the toast weren't popping up either. Well, let's create a new one and let's see what we can get to show in uh, based on this percent win now I'm using visor si Samsung side sinks jacked all up and visor hitting that in too much better either but here we go so let's add a new profile inside of tasker event and then inside of event we want to go to variables variable set and you want to do percent capital W capital W capital I capital N or just click on that little tag over there scroll down to the bottom and look for window label that's percent win leave everything else blank so basically what this is this is a profile and it's going to trigger something every time the window label percent win gets set to a value no matter what that value may be so this is the profile we want to trigger a task and I want to uh, create a new task here for testing purposes so I'll call it test and for now, let's just go to plus. Let's add a new uh, action to our task. So I'm just going to flash, and I want to see what the value of percent win is. So come down here to window label, and boom. That's all I'm going to do for right now, just to test and show you and see if this works. It's to see if you can actually do this. So now we had this one cut off, so we're not going to see the picture anymore. But what we're going to see now, every time this window label, every time it changes, um, it's going to run this task test. And remember, test is going to flash whatever the value of percent win is going to be. All right, so let's apply this and let's go back to the home screen. Now you're going to see the word home pop up. Okay, let's just open up KOWP and see what happens. Now every once in a while you might see percent win pop up. That's fine. KOWP it's going to show KOWP. So it's got a label to each window that we see on our screen. Well, the one that we're interested in right now is not home. We're interested in this one here. When I open my app drawer, apps, capital A, capital P, capital P, capital S. Let me do that one more time. So there's home. And then let me slide up to my app drawer, that one. If yours says something unique, it might not say apps, I don't know. I've just used this on Nova Launcher. If it says that, great, we can actually do this. Um, if yours does not say something unique, then sorry, uh, this technique that I'm getting ready to show you will not work. All right, now, 
let's uh, set this up. So apps is the key word, all caps. I, I think I don't know if um, the capital letters matter or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So back inside of Tasker, let's take uh, all that did was test. It flashed the value of the window label. So to be quite honest with you, I don't really care about this one anymore because, well, before I do that, notice I had the exact same profile up here, all that stuff. But I don't need this one anymore. Because what I'm interested in doing is uh, getting something else other than just seeing the window label. So this profile, percent win, blah, 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 uh, window label is the task that I want to trigger. All right, so I'm going to cut this back on. I'm going to go to my task window label. And this is, the, this is all we got to do, these eight pieces. So remember this variable name, if percent win equals apps. That means if our app drawer is open, then what we want to do is we want to send something over to KOWP and say, hey, the app drawer is open, so do something. All right, well, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to send a variable over to KOWP, KOWP send variable, and the configuration is a tasker string. So I'm going to set a custom variable drawer, you can call it whatever you want, uh, to one. And I'm just using one because, you know, in KOWP, a lot of times when we use a value of one, that means it's on. So think of it as when the app drawer is open, then we want to uh, set this variable, custom variable drawer, to a value of one. Okay, that's all I have going on inside of there. And again, this is happening when that window label is equal to apps. This means our app drawer is open. Now, notice I also have something else here too, flash app drawer open. Back at the beginning of the video, you saw that flash up quite a few times, right? Well, if that gets annoying for you, just uh, I'm just going to highlight that. You don't even have to put this in, but I'm just going to uh, cut that off. That way we don't see that. Or I'll tell you what, for right now, I'm still going to leave it on. And I'll come back and disable it in a minute. So if the window label is equal to apps, do all this junk. Well, if it's not equal to apps, that's what we have this else statement for. And again, to add all these various pieces in here, you come here to plus and, you know, if you want to do the else or if you want to do if, type in if and scroll through it, there's if. If you want to do else, there's your else. If you want to do uh, KLWP send variable, there's a KLWP send variable. So that's how we get all those actions inside of our task here. So else, if percent win is not equal to apps, uh, we want to do this stuff. Well, notice I got a KOWP send variable. Configuration, use the same custom variable name, but give it a different task or stream. Um, in this case, I'm going to give it a value of zero. This is saying, hey, our app drawer is closed or our app drawer is just not open. It's something other than apps. Percent win is something other than apps. It's not equal to apps. So let me check on that back out and I had that flash saying app drawer is not open. Again, we can disable these two. We will come back and do that in a moment and then come down here, add two actions, end your if and then stop this task window label. I think you can get away without stopping the task, but um, that's something I'm starting to do in more practice to actually truly end a task. I don't really know the benefits of that. Um, maybe you do, but nonetheless, that's what we want to have. Uh, that's what we want to happen here. So we're getting a variable uh, drawer and it's going to have one of two values, either one if percent win is equal to apps or zero if percent win is not equal to apps. That's why I put it in this else part of my little uh, flow right here. So let's back out of here. Let's apply that. And if I go back to my home screen, now we should start seeing, okay, app drawer is not open. No duh. Now let's scroll up. App drawer is open. Notice the picture is moving because we're about to go into KOWP and I'm going to show you how to get this picture. If I back out, the picture should go away. App drawer not open. All right, so let's go into KOWP and let's see how I have this coded. So app drawer not open. App drawer not open. It's getting real annoying, right? So what I'm going to go ahead and do now before I do this is I'm just going to go dis disable that just to show you that if you're just getting the KOWP to show you how to disable something, I'm just going to highlight those two things that were flashing. I'm going to press the power button and those purple bars indicate that uh, we would not see those flashes. That's just for testing purposes. All right. So going back to KOWP, we don't see the little toast popping up anymore. That's a good thing. All right. So whatever preset you may have, um, all this stuff inside of here has nothing to do <laughs> really. You can put this in any preset you want. I have it down here at the very bottom and all I have is a rectangle. I called it Tasker App Drawer. Uh, this entire preset that I have here is going to be released on Dark Skittles pretty soon. 
Um, task or app drawer, it's a rectangle and I have the width set to the width of my screen. I have the height set to the height of my screen. And then underneath FX, we go to texture. You want to pick bitmap and then pick your image. Pick whatever image you want. Now you may have to crop it or edit it or something like that inside a custom, but I've picked my image. It was the one of my wife, my son and I uh, acting crazy. At, uh, I forgot where we were, but anyway. So that's where I'm picking that image. And now, what do we want to do with this thing? Did you notice how it was fading in and out as my app drawer was opened and closed? When I opened my app drawer, it would fade in, and when my app drawer would close, it would fade out? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to animation. I have a formula set to fade in, and this is where we're going to bring in that tasker stuff. So remember, if BR tasker drawer. Now, what is all that junk? If we scroll down here to the bottom, we can broadcast for a tasker variable. Remember that? Uh, it's been a while since I've done a tasker video, but if BR tasker drawer, that's that custom variable name, if it's equal to one, well, remember, if it's equal to one, that means our app drawer is open. Therefore, we want to animate forward. When the output is one, uh, it will animate forward. And if it's not, if this is not equal to one, then we want to set it to a value of zero. That means it's going to go back. All right. I hope these ones and this one don't confuse you. This one and this zero here talk about whether your animation's coming in or your animation's going out. This first one is that tasker string that I set it to. Now, if you understand that, great. But what I'm going to do is, for those of you just getting into Tasker and KOWP or just getting into KOWP and trying to use Tasker, I'm going to show you how we can change some things maybe to prevent confusion. This one and this zero are very common things that I use when I animate. Um, I could change this to a B, by the way, and that won't change a daggone thing. Um, that's just going to make the animation go back. And to show you that, notice you can use a one when you want it to animate forward. Heck, let me do it like this. I can use a one and an F. There we go. So now hopefully you're seeing the difference. Um, this is the tasker string. This is the animate forward and this is to animate back. Now I know I'm kind of talking about this quite a bit now, but I have had quite a few questions about the ones, the zeros and the Bs. I, honestly, I forgot all about F for animating forward. All right, so we can check that. There's nothing wrong with me changing that code the way I changed it. If I save this and well, okay, remember action fade in. Um, ease normal however much time and whatever amount but I have it set to fade in you could definitely do a scale as well um, but I'm just gonna leave it like that now for now so saving that going back to the home screen and even though I changed that one and zero to a F and a B we should still be good to go as you can see it is animating forward and if I back out of my app drawer it should animate back which means it's going to fade out so again, um, to kind of bring some more things, the, the, the tutorial's over, but if you uh, want to talk more about broadcasting variables and tasks, because I have got quite a few questions about that, let me go back to that task, and let me go to that send variable. Um, we can, like I said, we can literally call this thing whatever we want. Um, task or string, if I say, okay, if percent win is equal to apps, that means my app drawer is open. So I'm going to give it a value of open and I'm going to call this not drawer, but I'll call it app drawer. Okay. Now just remember those two things. Check on that. And let me come down here to this other one when my app drawer is not open. So I need to change this. I'm going to change this instead of zero. I'm going to say closed. But I'm still going to use that same variable name that I just changed a moment ago, app drawer. I'm trying to show you the freedom that you have to actually put whatever you want to put here. But this is the value of this variable right here. And notice I did use the same variable name that I just recreated a moment ago. So backing out of this, now what's going to happen if I apply that? Now if I open up my app drawer, we're not going to see the picture anymore because I've changed the custom variable name and I've changed the type of string, the, the value of that variable. So let's go into KOWP and let's fix that and I'm gonna show you how we can get it right back. So now I need to go to my formula and no longer is it called drawer, it was called app drawer. So if my app drawer is open, remember that tasker string that I called it, open, then I wanna animate forward, otherwise I want to animate back. So by me changing that and if I save this and go back to the home screen, we should be back in business. As you can see, there we are. So again, the freedom that you have there. And then I guess one more thing we can come and do is uh, come in here, tinker around with the animations a little bit more. Instead of a fade in, let's do a 
what I want to do. I want to scale out and I think I want to, yeah, I definitely want to invert this because I don't want to see this unless my app drawer is open. So if I invert a scale out, instead of it fading in now, what it's going to do is it is going to scale on us. See that? That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, you know, there you have it, you know, using Tasker and KOWP to add a background to your app drawer using Nova Launcher. Again, to kind of recap, don't forget to set your background in Nova Launcher to transparent. And then um, if you skipped over a lot of parts of these videos, make sure you go back and look at the part about percent win, getting various window labels, and then how we use the code to incorporate all that to get this picture to show up. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.